Hi right guys, just a quick video on how to install a keyboard and also some tips on typing practice and stuff like that. Um, so first thing you want to do is go into settings uh, down here, go into settings, and then you go on to time and language, and then uh, click language, and then add preferred language, type in Korean. Obviously it's already added for me, but then you just add it and then all the defaults should be fine. Um, you shouldn't need to change anything and it will work with your keyboard. Obviously you don't need a special keyboard, but you can change it down here. You might need to change it in the bottom right hand corner. So you need to make sure that that is on Korean. And then when you click any box or area, you'll notice you either have an A or a car. Yeah. So to change that, you just press the right alt key and it will just automatically change it. No problems. And then you can switch on the fly, so you can switch when you're trying to search something, or if you need to type, you can just quickly change. All right, so the keyboard itself is pretty well laid out. So this version of the keyboard, the standard version that most people will use, is called Tubolshi, which has all the consonants on the left and all the vowels on the right, which makes it even easier to just learn the layout quickly. So you've got all the consonants that can have a uh, doubled up version on the top row and then you have all the nasal ones in the middle except here here which is uh, aspirated and then all the aspirated consonants are also on the bottom row as well so that makes it even easier to learn where your fingers are needing to go and then all the vowels are on the right all the double vowels are on the top in and then you shift to access these ones and you shift to access the doubles here as well so that's all easy to learn and then for typing, like for practice, what I would suggest is instead of copy and pasting everything, you just go onto the, what's it called? Go onto the dictionary. When you want to search something up, just type it. And you just type it. And then that's, that'll be your practice. I've got that on the Hanja dictionary, but who cares? So you just type the word in, doesn't really matter. And then that'll be part of practice. And then also what you can do is there's this website called 10 Fast Fingers. And there is a typing test on here. Uh, I'm not going to do it because it might be extremely loud because the keyboard is kind of loud. But you just type the word and then you press space. Oops. Well, I'm, I'm trying not to be loud, so I won't do it fast. So then once you've done this, um, you'll get a score. Oh, no. You'll get a score and then it will tell you how fast you're doing it. And then you can use that to practice or you can just... Um, uh, personally, I would just suggest you don't really need to do that. But... The main thing is, what you want to do is, you don't need to buy any stickers or anything. You don't need this keyboard on the screen all the time. What I would suggest is just touch typing and just learning where your fingers need to go. And it will be so much quicker. And the thing is, if you buy stickers anyway, who really looks at the keyboard that often? No one's looking at the keyboard 24-7. But a good idea also is, if you use your phone, you'll get used to where the keys are on there, but it doesn't really translate to touch typing as well as you would like it. So you still need to practice the touch typing if you're gonna wanna type on the keyboard, which is a pretty good skill. So that's pretty much everything. It's pretty simple. Just practice your touch typing, and then you can start practicing typing sentences to everyone. And you can do this from the beginning as well. You don't need to, you don't need to already be good at the language. You don't need to be four years in just to start typing. You can start this from like day one, Whenever you need to search something, just start typing it out. Alright, that's everything.